My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm reviewing, I think, one of the coolest names I've ever heard, which is Gucci, the voice of the snake. I love that. I think it's a very, very cool name. Let's see if what's inside is as cool. This is £225 for 100 mil. The notes are Oud Saffron Patchouli. Amazing. Do we have our bottles of Gucci, the voice of the snake? Are we engaged with the high self? Let's get testing. I would love to have designed this. I think it would, I would have had fun with it. I kind of would have just, I don't know. And I'm very excited to sort of see, see this. So it comes in a, looks like a little coffin and inside a bag. I love this. I think it's really, really well created. That's that oody thing to it. Light, airy, bitter, dark, musky, effervescent, light. Patchouli and sandalwood are absolutely gorgeous. This is really, really well created. The sandalwood and patchouli. The glackwood is smoking it out. It's quite smoky. The naturals in this are really beautifully chosen and how it's constructed is beautiful as well. So you have to be really careful when working with oods. I have a lot of oods. You have to be really careful when you have to choose your musk choice correctly. The musks are a massive classification of raw materials. They do lots of different things without musks in a formulation. Fragrances can smell quite juvenile, but with the right musk accord in there, it sort of sings together and it sort of works together beautifully. This is vibrant. Clean has a cleanness to it. The patchouli is giving sort of darkness. Clean white musk and ice super has the backbone. Hedion happened to give us a lift and a slight floral feel. Even in Oud formulation, she wants slight floral finish to it because it helps to make things smell balanced. So the Hedion, Fina Ether alcohol, citronella are helping to give lift and elevation to that darkness. Clean white floral notes supported with soft wood notes. On, on top of that, Kashmarin and Nordimino, and that is the core. Absolutely unboxing to give that slight metallic ambergris feel. It is devoid of ethyl maltol. And in this situation, you really don't want ethyl malt. You don't want it sweet at all. You kind of want to go with that sort of patchouli darkness to it. It sort of makes me feel, it's quite a dark, sultry fragrance. I think it's, it's a, absolutely unisex. There's darkness, smoothness. It's quite luscious in, in the way it's been constructed. It's so, so smooth, it has a smoothness to it. Onto my final thoughts. I really love it. I love the name, I love the bottle, the little snake. I think it's very cool. I think this is expertly created. I love the the sandwood, the patchouli, the glackwood, the just the right of smoking. It's got just the right amount of everything. It's got, it's been constructed superbly. It's got just the right amount of white floral notes, just the right amount of uh, musk and uh, lily of the valley notes to smooth it out. Uh, the right amount of glackwood to smoke it out, but truly to make it dark, just darkness to it. It's the right amount of everything and it's been balanced perfectly, I would say. 240 for 100 mil. Yeah, I think it's worth the money because it is an expensive compound. Yeah, I think the price is all right. Safe, legal, compliant. This is really good and technically it's very good as well. All of that's sort of really good. Very happy about that. Do I like it? I'm thinking about this, you see, and I don't, I, I kind of don't, I do love it. I do like it, but I'm not going to rate it as a 10 because for me, the 10 fragrances generally make me want to go out and create something and are inspiring and I get this tingling sensation and it is something subconscious that happens as well and they don't happen that often and I don't give tens out very often but this I think it's a, a nine I think it's really really excellent I think it's superb I think the price is right I love it I think it's dark it's sort of light and vibrant long lasting but there's something missing from it and I don't know what it is and I can't put my finger on it and that's maybe why I'm not giving it a 10 it's quite flat it's drying down flat now, you see, and for that level of price, I want a monstrous wall of fragrance to go out of the room. And I think it's settling down to be quite soft and 
for the voice of the snake. I would like a little bit of a bite to it. And I think I was expecting all of this and more. And for tens, you know, really, I want everything, you know. But I can thoroughly recommend it. I think it'd be a great starting ode. I think if you would like something darker for the evening, for the winter, for a date, for all of that, something a little bit darker and richer, I can thoroughly recommend it, actually. I think it's a great fragrance, but try it. Don't just buy it. I think go and try it because you may not like the sort of the smoothness and the darkness to do with it, but I think it's very cool. It's quite gothic fragrance, which I really like. So I hope you love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating interesting content, lots of moving hands, and lots of fragrance views. Hope you stay safe and well. See you soon.